Hey all. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the process of creating a drawing template file for Creo. You will be using this multi-view template throughout the year on your part files you create in Creo. To begin, you will start a drawing file in Creo by hitting new. We're going to select the type to drawing. We're going to name this drawing Imperial Multi View A. Imperial being the units. A being the paper size. I will set the common view. I'll click OK. I need to make sure default model select the none. I'm going to select my template empty what format. And now we need to select the format. Hit browse. It should default you to this. If it does not, it's because your config file wasn't set up right. And you need to go to your computer, shared, classrooms, CAD, Creo templates, and select engineering size A. Go ahead and click OK. It will now create your drawing. We need to edit a couple things here on the bottom on the title block. We need to edit your name and edit the units. To do that, we will click on table. I will double click on drawn. I will now edit this. Put in your name. Remember capitalization. I will also need to edit this millimeters to inches. Date will be done at a later time. Everything else should automatically populate. We are now going to go ahead and add our views. But to do that first, we want to make sure our grid is set up. So we'll click on Sketch, Sketch of Preferences. We want the invisible grid in the back. That way we can snap to it. Make sure that's selected. We will now go to Tools and Template. We can now add template views into our drawing template that we're creating. Click template view. The first view will be the front view. This will be our most important views. We'll do it first. Orientation should set the front. Capitalization. Model display. Hidden line. We want dimensions turned on. And we want to create snap lines. We're now going to place the view. I'm just going to drop it over there for now. And now when I hit move view, it should automatically move and snap to the uh, temp the the, the uh, grid that we add we um, enable in the background. I'm gonna just drop it there, so it should snap there. I'm now gonna repeat this to add the other views. Next view will be the top. Type now will be projection, the parent. Projection parent name will be front, so that will be the parent. We won't be able to change the orientation because we have a parent set. Hidden line set for model display. Dimensions are on. We're going to place the view. And it should snap, and we're going to make sure it's just above that. And we have to click down the wheel of the mouse to get out of. Now it's set. Go ahead and add the right view now. Parent, same process. Dimensions are on. Hit in line, place the view to the right. Drop down the wheel mouse to end that. Now we want to add the isometric. We call it isometric. It needs to be spelled correctly, or you have errors. Should be set the general though for the type. No dimensions. No hidden lines. Okay. Place the view. I'm just gonna drop it someplace and then move it so we could snap. Drop it there. Alright, we're set. And you can also move these views if you don't like the location. Select the views with left click, hold long right click to get the properties. And then you can move these if you don't like the location.
hold right click gets you that properties menu. Oh, however you want to set it up. Once that's done, we're going to hit save. Save your view to your Creo folder. Save your template to your Creo folder, excuse me, your Imperial template. Okay. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to create a new drawing for figure 649. Click OK. Default model will be set to 649 now. Use template. We're going to select the template that we just created. Click OK. Puts it in. You can turn off your planes so they don't print. And now everything looks good. You can set your date if you have if you need to set your date. Scale should be set. Material should say material because we didn't set the material for these figures. We'll talk about those later. Um, everything else should be set correctly. Um, if you need to edit any extension lines, now's the time to do so. Or add any dimensions. So this extension line right here is overlapping because it was originally dimension to a hidden line. So to change that. First, we're going to make sure your sketch of preferences, grid intersection, uh, intersection is turned off. I will now click on the uh, dimension, and I can drag that extension line out, out. Okay, all done. Save the drawing file, and let's print a PDF under Save As. Quick export PDF or export PDF, either way. Quick export. I already have a PDF. Well, I'm going to create anyways. This will create the PDF file that you can then submit. Done. If you uh, save as export, you can select select other settings. So if you want to save it at a certain location, hit PDF export. It will actually give you a position where you want to save it. Otherwise, it would just go to your downloads folder.